guys, this is your boy Sean Skits and Ashley. Or as I like to call her Queen Ashley. And we are about to turn, turn up on a Tuesday. Hey, welcome to our channel and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna be quizzing Ashley on Hispanic products. Don't, don't, don't. If you like the video, guys, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell. And uh, let's get into this. So, so the way this works is I'm gonna show her a picture of the product and then I'm gonna ask her, so what is this and what do we use it for? So let's start this out, okay? So what is this? That is easy. That she should know this. Yes, vapor rub. We use this too. This is not just a Spanish product. Uh huh. Mix vapor rub. But what do we use it for? <laughs> Things that Hispanic people use vapor rub for. I live with you, and I know what you use this for. All right. So three things. You use this for when you're sick. Use it for chapstick. Okay, I never seen. You used it as chapstick. You were no. using that. As but if I said Lee, yo, she way off. That's, they're both me and they're cream. Uh, so. Um. Oh, I know as lotion. Like if you're ashy or if you have dry skin, you put it on there. Yo, I don't know what kind of Hispanic people you know, but I never use. Vicks you for did that. That's Vaseline. That Vaseline again? Yes. Headache? All right, let's, let's move on. You're not, you're not gonna get it. You're okay, not gonna so tell me what the three uh, one I use. So for. we use it for when you get sick to clear your nose. Okay. If you have pimples, you can put it on the pimples. Oh, if you warm it up, you can put God. it on your pimples and it'll actually oh, clear the pimples that. out. And also, if you have back problems and if you have muscle problems, like aches, yeah, like aches or your muscles hurt, like are sore, yeah, you can also put Vicks on oh, that. Heck. Yep. So that's four actually, four ways that we Hispanic people use Vicks, and I can start naming you way more. Okay. All right, guys. So you guys already saw her struggling, and that was one. Oh right, yeah. I knew what it was. I just didn't know his so obscure uses. So let's. What is that? And what do we use it for? This is like, is this um like those tablets we use? The ones that are for like antacid and like like Alka Seltzer. And yeah, that's actually what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's like really <laughs> it just says acido. Mm. That's actually what it is. <laughs> and it's we bubbly. Use it. This is basically like. But have I ever seen that before? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. So, so how did you get it right? Because on the label it says acido you see, and it has it? the I bubbles. <laughs> that's why I need to cover anything that is English because you're over here like That's crazy. not English, it said acido. 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 <laughs> Actually, uh, tums. This is like what we but you use. Put it in water? Yeah, you put it in water, or, you, uh, or you, you put it in water. Or you can put it in your mouth, but you can't eat it. You can just just let it dissolve. Oh. Yeah, and that's basically what it is for your stomach. You, you got like stomach pain. Yeah. Hold All right, guys. So she got that one pretty fast. Got that one pretty fast. Let's do another one. Let's... What you got? Chill, yo. I have a lot of energy. You right wilding out. <laughs> what is it? What do we use it for? This is a candy. This is like a, a crayon candy. It looks like cherry. I don't know. It reminds me of you know baby bottle pops. No, I don't know what that those is. candies that had the the sucker on the top and oh, you go yes, through it yes, and dip yes, it into yes, the powder. Yes, yes. That's what it make. And also, it has wrapper like a candy. Okay. So right? you think that you were right? Then you were I think wrong. I was right. She was actually right. This yeah. is actually a candy yeah. we love. I used to eat this a lot when I was a little kid. Really? Yeah. And is it good? It's really is it like bad. a gel. It's it like, a, like a it's gel. A, so it's basically like like a gel, yeah. And it doesn't only come in a crayon. It actually comes in hair. So there was another another one that is Cute. that is green. That it was green. It was like a little like crayon like this, and then you like twisted it. And like the, a play doh. Yeah, like the play doh used to come in oh, like the hair. Cute, and yeah. It was green. It was green. Yeah, it was really, really I bad. don't like that. What about this? Is, it, is this a soap? Is this something that we no, use? No, this is not. This is a, also a food. You think it's a food? Mm -hmm, for sure it is a food. Saying that it's a type of food, candy, and... Not candy. Not candy? You're saying it's a type of food? And yeah, like a, like a cookie or a cake. I, I don't think it's candy. It doesn't look like a candy. It looks like bready. Like, so like a cookie or a cake. Mm -hmm. But it also is, kind of, I feel like it's trying to throw me off because it has a flower. Then I'm just thinking it's like a fresh thing, like a sponge. But I, I know it's not that. Okay, so what is it? Mexican candy. Oh! And it is kind of like a cake. It, it has like, it has like peanut butter and nuts. It's made of like peanut but butter and nuts. it has a flower nuts. on it. 
What? They just has a flower on it. Yeah. How about this one? What is that? Mocha de Gorilla. Um, to be honest, I've never seen this before. And I'm definitely gonna use context clues and like that's on the pictures. It's for sports and energy. It's for sports and energy? Mm-hmm. Need more context. What do you mean sport it, and energy? It could be used for any sport. Like it's something you consume uh -huh. for when you play sports and to give you energy. Okay. Yeah. And how did you deduct that from that picture? Hmm, sports energy formula. Okay. okay. So Moco de Gorilla, guys. It's not actually for sports and energy. What? what this is, is it? actually a gel. This is a really famous gel that a lot of Hispanic people use, and that's why he has the gel like that. This is just the sport one. Oh, for a hold? Yeah. So this is actually a gel that you will find. Yo, Moco de Gorilla. Moco is British. I, yes, British. So I, I saw. I used, about it. Everybody used to use this in Puerto Rico. Like, I guess. And maybe is that really how big it comes like that? No. It, well, this is a picture, but it's like this big, as like big a as the lotion, lotion like comes. A pot like yeah. That? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because yeah. in that picture, it makes it look like it's a little, like a little thing. No, no, no. It's just because the picture is too small, yeah. but it's pretty, it's pretty big. Okay. Yeah. That was a tricky one. The last one. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be the last one. What? And we're gonna see. I think that you might get it, but I don't know. I don't okay. know. Let me see. So, what is it and what do you think that it does? So, I've never seen. Actually, I think I have seen this at, at the store. Yeah. But I kind of use that a lot. I think I have seen this. But I think I saw this maybe in DR when I was in DR. And they you were probably saw me, you probably saw it in DR. And yeah, they were DR. Because yeah, I didn't. Had, didn't bring any. I don't know why I didn't bring any. But yeah, so some luck. Creme for your face though, because it says creme de facial. Baba de caracol is actually. Not a sunblock. It's lotion? Yeah, it's lotion. Oh, that's the same. Yeah, so. But, it has, get, but it's lotion that has sunblock in it. Yeah, it does. You can kind of use that like sunblock, most, but it's. Most face lotions do have. Not a sunblock. Uh, not, but it's not a sunblock. You may, the main use of Baba de Caracol is to lotion yourself. Mm -hmm. And also, it's also really good if you get like a scar and you put it in your scar, it will help the skin clear, yeah. heal, and clear out. So that way you don't have that scar left. Oh, I would not have guessed that. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Um, how, how do you think that you did? I think I did pretty good, and I, I like doing this. It was fun because I got to learn about stuff that I didn't know before. I didn't think I was gonna do better with the the Vix. I'm proud of myself for using the context clues on the packaging. I would want to try some of the food candy stuff. Gel looked a little scary. <laughs> that looks like it will never come out of your hair. Yo, Moko, yo, it would never come out. Yo, to get Moko the Gorilla out of your hair, you have to be in the bathroom on some like. Oh my yo. gosh. But you did pretty good, to be honest. To be honest, I was expecting you to do a little bit worse. Did not think that you were gonna know what the UV cell was. We said, I was oh, like, one? oh yeah, you got it mad fast. I was like, wait, what? That one and the crayon yeah. one were pretty easy. Uh, the the crayon one, one also, I was not like expecting one. I was not expecting you to get that one. Moco de Gorilla, I knew that you weren't gonna that get one that was one. Hard. I really feel like you did pretty good, um, guys. So this is the end of the video. Let us know how you think they actually did, and, and let, let us, us know if you really use these products. And if Sean, make sure Sean wasn't lying about anything to be tricking me or anything. I was not. I was not. All right, guys. So this is the end of the video. If you like this video, remember to like and leave a comment. And if you like couple videos, couples doing makeup, food, DIY, workout, any kind of challenge things that couples are doing, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications. Turn them on. <laughs> yeah, guys, make sure to turn on those post notifications. This is your boy, Sean Skits and Ashley. Or as I like to call her, Queen Ash. And we'll see you next Tuesday.